In this video, we're gonna work on this 69 Opal Cadet station wagon. It's been sitting over 40 years. It's got a 1900cc four cylinder, whatever, Opal engine, and the thing's completely stuck. I don't know if we can get unstuck or not. Let's see together. It's like a guy on Jurassic Park. So we're underneath this thing now. We've got it up on dad's rollback and I'm trying to shift this thing out of gear because even though we have a key, this thing still, the key doesn't seem to work. So maybe we can get this thing out of gear. There we go. Maybe this thing will roll now. You got it. Well, that worked pretty good. I didn't intend on putting it on the jack stands, but that's how it worked out. It rolled a little bit this time. Now that we got this bad boy up in the air, I'm gonna pull the plugs out of it finally, and we'll put some oil down in the cylinders and let this thing sit for a minute. Oh, that wasn't that loose or that tight at all, really. PB Blaster's been doing its job. Man, look at these uh, plug wires. It's like hard plastic inside, and you can see the metal coil inside there. That's I've never really noticed that before. Well, here's what our plugs look like. Typical carbureted stuff right there. That front one's a little lighter than the rest of them. Now, since this motor's been sitting 40 years, I mean, usually I just put a uh, marble mystery oil in them. I think I'm gonna, well, obviously I'm gonna put PB Blaster in this one because, I mean, that's what it's made to do is break loose rust. Some of you guys have been saying Using vinegar? I don't know, I never tried that one. Maybe that'll do the job. We'll give all this stuff another coat too. And we're gonna let this thing sit now. So now that we've let this sit for a few days with the oil in it, we're gonna see if we can get this motor unstuck. It's been sitting over 40 years, so cross your fingers. I don't know, we'll see. So here's our little crankshaft pulley. We got our three quarter wrench on there and we're gonna see if we can turn this motor. Let's try Ralphie Power first, see if he can break the motor loose for us. Oh no. No, both hands? You can't get it? Let's try Wawa Power. Don't bust your knuckles. Oh my gosh. What don't let it slip heck? off and bust your knuckles now. This is really stuck. Okay, no luck? No. There we go. It moved just a little bit. That's good. Oh, it's so stuck. Now it's soft. Doubling up the wrench trick. Have you guys ever done that? What was that? What's scraping? That's weird. I don't know why. It's like it turns easy in some spots and then... He's stuck again. So I just noticed. Look, it's the bolt turning. Ugh, that's not good. I'm gonna cut the belt off this thing because just in case the generator or the water pump's stuck. <laughs> look how stiff it is. It's still stuck the same way it was. <sighs> well, that wasn't it. Man, let me get the breaker bar if it'll fit. So our old generator wasn't locked up, but our water pump is totally locked up. Well, we're either gonna snap this bolt or we're gonna turn this motor over. Just a four cylinder, how hard can this be? That's got to be stretching that bolt by now. Man, how many times can this thing turn without turning the motor? It feels like that bolt's just 
like starting to strip out or stretching or something it's definitely easier to turn yeah yeah it's no point in turning that any farther it's stripped that bolt off i'm gonna lower this thing down now where we can get to the top and maybe hook some power up to that starter just as a last ditch effort to get this motor freed up i just realized this thing has like a mono leaf set up like a corvette does that's pretty cool how it goes in there. I didn't realize it didn't have coil springs up here. Here's the positive cable that's black here. And where's the other cable at? I don't see another one. This thing. Oh. Wow, that's got a short it's broke for the ground. Hopefully this thing won't fall through the firewall, considering the rust it has from the acid from the last battery is in here. First thing, Thomas, things had a battery hooked up to it in like 40 years. Well, so far so good. I finally broke down and bought a cheap uh, remote starter switch. I'm expecting this to do like the wagon and not turn the motor over, but might as well try it while we're here. Yeah. Just hitting the flywheel and not doing anything. Oh. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, I think we can all see what's going on here. This thing, 40 years was just too much, I guess, for it. But I never leave you hanging, so we're going to tear into this motor and see what's wrong with it and uh, if it's fixable or not. That would be a little easier. All right, let's start tearing into this thing and seeing what the cylinders look like. I think that's the last one. I wonder how stuck this thing's gonna be. Oh, not at all. Oh my gosh. Look at the inside of this engine. Wow. That is so terrible. Wow. No wonder this thing wouldn't turn over, huh? Wow, it looks so terrible. I hope those Rocker studs will come loose. Check out this little girl, huh? Well, this is Rocky's first baby. So, we got a little baby Rocky. We haven't even named her yet, but uh, this is baby Rocky. It's his first baby. You know, he's like one year old, so he ought to have kids by now, right? <laughs> She's cute, isn't she, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Little baby Rocky. Huh? You want to say anything? You know, make any noises for us? Hey. Could comment below what you think we should name Rocky's baby here. We got to figure out a name for her for sure. The rockers. Look how nasty they were when I took it off. I pulled the valve cover off it, and it was that gross. It's disgusting. No wonder it wouldn't turn over, huh? All that rust in it. Mm -hmm. I better give these a shot of PB Blaster. Even though I don't have time to let it soak, maybe it'll help those come off just a little bit. You think you can get it off there, Ralphie? Right here? Yeah, push. I think we got all the bolts out of it. I don't... There you go. Good job. I didn't know if we had all the bolts out of it or not. You got it. Let's see what our ports look like. That one there, not looking too healthy, but it's you know better than the the uh, Galaxy wagon did. kind of interesting this i guess you call it the cam plate it's just like this pointy little cone that i guess stops the uh, cam from coming out and look at this this bolt in the end of it is plastic and that's what rubs against that cam cover and down here the end of the cam it has these crazy like i don't know what that is 12 pointed torques i, I can't remember the name of them and the same thing with the head bolts you can see down in there it's the same way so we gotta get all this rust cleaned off here and i gotta bring those sockets home because 
I don't have any of those here. I have some at work that I think will work. And I don't have any here. Well, that's better, but we still got to get it down out of there inside those, you know? Because we can't get the socket in there with all that junk in there. We got to find our magnet or something. This is the strangest cylinder head design. I've never, I never even knew they made them like this where the cam's in here and then it's kind of like rock arms, like an old school, you know, engine I'm used to, but it just rocks from here. So it's cam in head, not overhead cam. Never even knew that existed until now. That's weirder than my Uncle Chris right there. We got Ralphie on the magnet here. I'm going to try to loosen it up with a screwdriver, and I guess Ralphie's going to dig it out. Right here. Here's where it's at. But a lot of that feels like it's like just caked up burnt oil. Not so much rust down there. I thought it was all rust, but... We got it cleaned out there pretty good. I think it's going to be good enough to be able to get a socket on them. Diana's growing up, aren't you? She's getting a little bit bigger. Putting some pounds on. You got to lay off the food, Diana. Well, I ran to my work and got the bits. I don't know what these are called. What is this, Cornwell something? But uh, I don't know what their exact name is, but it's like a Torx bit, but just like twice, you know? Like times two a Torx bit. That's what it is. And when I came back in with him, look at this. This guy follows me in. Say hi, Rocky. Tell everybody hi. He smells like a billy goat today, very much so. Every one of these lifters is just stuck in the so head. This is a eight millimeter on the end of the cam, and these are a 12 millimeter. Man, I hope all this comes out easy. These are way down in there, and it looks like the cam's in the way, so I don't know what we're gonna have to do there. I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse, but he's out here trying to eat the spark plugs and everything. Look, he thinks everything's a snack. You can't eat that though. You just can't keep him off of nothing. He wants to get up in there and see, well, exactly my point. He wants to try to eat everything off the car. Not everything's edible, Rocky. But I believe I got all those loose. It, it appears that the way you're supposed to do this is probably take the front of the motor off down there and take the tensioner loose, take this time and chain part out of the way and then pull the cam out of the front because there's really, I was kind of crooked on getting that socket down in there to try to make the head bolts on this side to come out. It definitely looks like you should have the cam out first. Yeah, eat the screwdriver, it's totally edible. You're gonna hurt yourself. Let's see if, how stuck this head is to the block. Man. That's really surprised me on these that he isn't more stuck. You know, Ralphie? Yeah. Can we get this off here? Of course it's cast iron. It's like a bazillion pounds. Well, that's surprising. It only looks like the third cylinder back is the one that is uh, rusted up real bad. Right here. So it must be, you know, other stuff like all them lifters being stuck and that cam being stuck that was really holding it. You can see, I guess that cylinder probably had an open valve for a long time. What do you think, Rocky? But yeah, let's try to get a wrench on this and see if we can spin the bottom end of the motor over or if something's stuck down here as well or if it was just the head holding us back. So I've got a three quarter socket down here on the ratchet. Let's see if we can spin it over now. Gosh. Ah, broke the broke the bolt off in the crankshaft. That snapped that bolt off. I knew it was getting weak. But uh man, what's holding it like? I see this one's rusty, but I mean something in the bottom end is totally rusted up. Uh 
We should probably drain the oil out of it and see if it's full of water. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I see some water. Oh, chunky oil. There was a little bit of water at first, but I mean, that just looks like burnt oil now. I was kind of expecting the bottom end to be full of water considering how stuck this engine is. It's definitely chunky, but not as much water as I thought would be in it considering. This poor motor stuck worse than that old Jeep was we got out in the creek. That was pretty bad too. Well, we've reached the end of another video here. Unfortunately, this motor was in too bad a shape. That's what 40 years of something sitting outside getting rained on does. But we're going to celebrate anyway with our RC Colas and our Vianians. Those are the barbecue ones, huh? That's fancy. Come on, don't blow in my face. Hey, that one worked this time. Hey, and Rocky's got to celebrate. This is his favorite thing. He loves animal crackers, so we're going to have to get him some of these in these videos, huh? There you go, buddy. Here. But anyway, I'm not sure what the future is for this car. Uh, I would love to make it a drag car. I would love to do that. Put it on a tube chassis or something, but man, that's a lot of work and a lot of money. I'm really not sure what we're going to do. Uh, I'm really in love with the body style. I wish the car was in better shape. But make sure you check us out on the Instagram, SleeperDude88. On Facebook, it's SleeperDude. And we have a second channel, SleeperDude2. I always do this the wrong way. Two. And uh, on there, we put short clips. I show a little bit of what I do for a living. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of this one, guys. Sorry it didn't run, but that's how it is sometimes. We're trying our best, you know? That's what really counts. We're trying our best. <laughs> Rocky, you want to mind you? He likes the barbecue ones, don't he? He don't want to eat the regular ones. He wants to eat the barbecue ones. Also, if you look below... We got merchandise below. Also, if you go click on my username, click on the store button, it takes you to our website where you can buy some of the merchandise if you're interested. But we appreciate you watching. Ralphie appreciates it. Rocky appreciates it. I bet Vania even appreciates it. <laughs>